Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. Now if you've been watching my videos lately, you've seen the videos that I put out on the uh, Personas Audio Box USB and of course this microphone right here. Uh, this is the MXL uh, 770 and it is an XLR type microphone. Now, I wanted to do this video to see what are the differences between XLR, USB, and lavalier microphones. So, what I figured I'd do is I would record in all three different microphones and let you guys see what the difference is. Now, before we go any further, I wanted to say again that I am going to be giving away this camera right here. Uh, this is my Canon T6i, and I'll be giving away the lens that you see on it right now. It's an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. It shoots in 1080p up to 60 frames per second and it just does a pretty good job. Now, um, the reason you're going to see a different color level between this camera and like my 90D is I, I just got this out. I didn't uh, set the color profile up on this one to match any of my other cameras. Uh, so the color profile is going to be off a little bit. But uh, this is going to be the kind of video quality you can expect from the T6i. And again, when I hit the 5,000 subscriber mark, this camera I will be giving away to one of you. So, with that being said, what do you say we go ahead and jump into this video? As always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Okay, so what I figured I'd do is kind of explain what I'm going to do first. And again, what we're going to do is see if we can hear a difference between an XLR microphone, a USB microphone, and like these lavalier microphones and in this case I'll be using my Zoom H1n and my Sony lapel microphone so that's going to give you guys a, an idea of what you can expect out of these three different types of microphones and I know a lot of you all out there are just starting a channel or you just want to do these videos for home videos or whatever um, so this is going to kind of give you guys an idea of what kind of microphone you may want to purchase do you want to go with the expense of an XLR microphone because remember not only do you purchase the microphone but you've got to get an XLR cable you need a, uh, a converter box to take the signal from this microphone into the box and then put it into your computer and all that stuff so I just want to give you guys a chance to, to listen to all three microphones so with that being said uh, this is what you can expect out of the XLR type microphone, audio test 123, audio test 123. Now, the main video will be, of course, done with this microphone, so you're going to be hearing a lot from this microphone. The other thing I wanted to mention is in order for me to use this microphone, uh, I had to use software called Studio One. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm having a hell of a time learning it. I did finally figure out how to record audio on, you know, through this microphone and then through the uh, Personas and then into my computer and save that audio file that I made. But as far as using the uh, Studio One program itself, wow. I mean, uh, I won't be doing any videos on this application anytime soon. Uh, it's a very serious application and it's going to take me a while to figure it out. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into a different type of microphone and let you guys see what that sounds like. Okay, now you guys are hearing the audio coming out of my Blue Yeti microphone. Um, this is a USB type microphone and it is a simple microphone to use. It has a sound card built right into the microphone. It just plugs into your computer via a USB and it's that simple. So, let's go ahead and listen to this. Uh, audio test one two three audio test one two three now I've had some issues with this microphone and the reason I switched to an XLR is because I was getting a cracking sound it's not a very you know loud cracking sound but it's there I can hear it and I have my volume settings set down so it's not like I'm peaking I'm overdoing it it's just it's it's got some stupid cracking sound um, 
but if I would say that you are somebody starting out into recording and audio, um, this is the way to go. Now there's about a hundred to $120 in the microphone, but that microphone comes with everything you need. You put the micro, it actually comes with a stand too. You know, put your microphone stand on your table, plug the included USB cord from the microphone to your computer. And I use uh, something like Audacity. You can use whatever recording software you want. Uh, you could even use Windows um, Audio to record it with. And that's pretty much it. And, and just go to town. You're going to get much better sound doing it this way than you are using the recorders off of the camera. The reason that I went from USB to an XLR microphone was because my audio really started to sound bad. And that's because I'm getting a little more used to what audio should sound like and what I was hearing I didn't like. Um, everybody else I talked to said audio sounds all right to me. <laughs> but I could hear it and it was bugging me. So uh, again, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. So this is what you can expect from the Blue Yeti USB microphone. So what do you say we go ahead and jump into the uh, Sony lapel microphone running into an audio recorder like this Zoom H1N. Okay, so I am now recording on my lapel mic. It's my Sony lapel mic and the Zoom H1N. And this thing is about right around $100, between $80 and $100. Again, this microphone is going to run you uh, $19.99. Uh, both of these, you know, I'll try, to, I'll try to put links down in the description below for all of the microphones that I'm showing you on this video. Okay, so here we go. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Um, again, if you are just getting into recording videos or if you're making videos at home and you want to you wanna expand that audio, you want it to sound really good, this is what I recommend. It's about the same price as the Blue Yeti microphone, but this is portable. You can take it with you. You can put this thing in your pocket and clip this on you and just there's your audio. Now you want to be careful because you can bump this volume knob and completely ruin your audio. And if you guys know anything about audio, you want to keep your audio levels as low as you can and still hear them through the microphone. You can always bump that up and post, but you want to record it as low as possible. I recommend keeping it between negative 18 and negative 12. If your volume is falling anywhere in between there, you're going to have good volume. Again, you can always turn it up in editing. This gives you an idea of what all three of these audio recorders sound like. And again, each one has their purpose, but you're going to have to decide which one is going to be pertinent to what you want to record and what kind of videos or audio uh, you're creating. With that being said, let's go ahead and close this video out. Well, everybody, I hope you got a little something out of this video. When I learn this system a little bit more, I'm actually going to do a video and show how to use uh, Studio One 5. This is the fifth version of the uh, Studio One uh, or the fifth update. And when I learn it more, I will try to do a video on this because I know there are a lot of people out there that purchase uh, this Personas Audio Box USB 96. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube on how to use it, but all those videos show is how to make songs and for my purposes I'm not making songs I'm making videos so I'm not even hundred percent sure whether this program is what I should be using because you can actually use other programs besides Studio One 5 in order to capture your audio out of the Personas and of course my MXL 770 but since the software came with the kit I might as well you know that's what I thought I might as well go ahead and use it uh, but I'm going to tell you what, when I tried to use it at first, man, I was completely lost. Uh, I had a hell of a time. Um, I couldn't get anything to work for me. I couldn't get it to save for me. And even how I'm saving my audio right now isn't the way it should be done. But it's working for me, so that's all that matters. With that being said, remember, if, if you guys have any questions at all, and of course, I'm capable of answering it, because remember, I'm very new to... Uh, XLR type audio post below I know a lot about USB audio systems and I know a lot about uh, lavalier microphone systems so you know again 
If you have a question, post below, and if I can, I'll answer it. And if I can't, I will try to get a link to somewhere uh, that will answer your question for you. So with that being said, I'm going to bring up one more time. I am going to be giving away this camera right here. The view that you're seeing right now is coming out of my Canon T6i. And again, I'm using my kit lens, which is the 18 to 55 millimeter. This is what you can expect out of this camera. Remember, I will be giving this camera away whenever I hit 5,000 subs. So, share my videos, you know, get them out there, get the word out. I, I can't wait. Actually, I am very anxious to give this camera away to one of you. I have one caveat that I want to say. Again, this is not a new camera. I'm not going to warranty this camera. I can't guarantee it's going to work the day I send it. Um, it's just the way it is. You know, things happen during shipping, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I can say, here you go. You can see it's working. Um, and it does take very good video. Uh, and like I said, don't worry about the color profile on here. It has many different color profiles to choose from. I just didn't feel like going through and matching any of the color profiles to my other, you know, cameras. And real quick, that's one thing I wanted to bring up. If you are going to do videos and you're going to use more than one camera, uh, I highly recommend that you stick to one camera brand. Now, I have three Canons recording. I have, again, my M50, my 90D, and my T6i. And you can see the difference between these two cameras and my T6i because of the color profile that I have on my T6i. But if I had all the color profiles across all three cameras on the same color profile, you're not then everything looks pretty much the same on all three camera views. But if you don't, this is what you can expect. You know, it's going to be a little off. So, uh, I just wanted to get that out there. Um, again, we were talking about audio, and then I go off on a rant on video. But again, I hope you guys learned something. And again, remember about the giveaway. Um, again, you know, whenever I give something away, I don't make you guys jump through hoops. All I ask is that you subscribe, you know, leave comments. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I have. I really do appreciate each and every one of you out there. Uh, be looking for my giveaway. And with that being said, that's all I got. I'll see you guys on the next one.